Hello guys, welcome to today's video. So I'm hanging out here in Mimi's bathroom. You guys know how much I love this room in my mom's house. It's like my favorite room. It is so beautiful. I wish this was my bathroom, all of the things. But I thought it would be fun to do like a nighttime routine at Mimi's house or like, I don't know, how I settle down for bed, like the things that we do. Maybe we can do like a little bit of pampering. Like, I don't know, but we're gonna try to hang out for a little bit. Um, Joe's downstairs with the kids right now. We finished having dinner. So the first thing that I'm gonna try to do today is I'm gonna take a shower. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and then that way I can then attend to the kids, give them their shower, do their nighttime routine, and then kind of have some time to wind down myself. If you've been following along on Instagram, you guys know that the last, the last week or so has not been very restful for me, okay? The last week or so, Jackson's schedule has been like horrendous. Let me tell you, it's been probably the worst his sleeping has ever been in his entire life. This morning, for example, Jackson woke up at 4.51 in the morning. I think that's a record for him. I don't think he's woken up earlier than that. And then like I went into his room, I rocked him, and eventually I got him to go back down um, to sleep for like another hour, but I was still up like at seven. Normally he sleeps until eight. So long story short, I'm very tired. I don't know if you can tell on my face, but I need just some pampering, some relaxation. So that's why I told you, I was like, please stay downstairs with the kids so I can have like a moment of peace. So we're gonna do that. I did bring with me my function of beauty stuff. I always bring this to Mimi's house when we come over. I always bring this when I travel. So that's a shampoo and conditioner that I have been using now for ages. So today's video is sponsored by them and I'm so thankful that they partner with me and like I've worked with them. It's been over a year now. Like I'm pretty sure it's been well over a year. And I'm gonna tell you, I've been very happy with them because like I have, I have like random hairs that are bothering me, but I've gotten so many like DMs and comments from you guys lately saying that my hair looks like really full and like that it's grown so much since when I cut it. And that to me is a huge compliment because for the most part, like this is all that I've been using in my hair. Like I don't have any extensions in my hair and I know that my hair is like up in a pony. And first of all, this is like the first time in forever that I've been able to do a pretty decent high pony and it looks like pretty full. So I'm really happy that my hair has grown and I don't have plans of cutting it anytime soon. So when you guys ask me like what I've been doing, I literally tell you function of beauty. So anyway, long story short, if you've never heard of them, they are awesome, I love using their products. They're a custom hair care brand, so what I like about them is the fact that you can customize everything. So everybody's hair is different, everybody's hair has different needs, even like your same hair at different points in the year, like when the seasons change, like when it's hotter outside, like your hair has different needs at different times. So the way that it works is you go online and you take a quick little quiz, it walks you through the questions, the quiz asks you stuff like, you know, what, do you, what are your goals for your hair and what type of hair do you have? So you answer those questions and it's gonna create a formula that's just for your hair. So for example, I have my little profile here. So I said my hair was wavy, I think medium in thickness. I think that was the response to that question. And then that it was oily because I do have oily hair. And then my goals this time around were to deep condition it, hydrate it, and to have it kind of shiny. So that's what I put this time around. I put other ones different times in, you know, when I've worked with them before. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna set you guys down because like my arm is about to fall off with that tripod. But I did do something different this time around. I picked a new fragrance. So usually I stick to either the, I believe there's a lavender one, and I stick to the eucalyptus and mint one, or eucalyptus, something eucalyptus. That's probably my favorite scent. This time I got Strike a Rose, and then I picked new like fun colors from them. So the rose smells really good, like Joe likes how it smells, but I still prefer the eucalyptus. So if I have to recommend one, it's eucalyptus. So I love them. I think that their products are great, but also it's like a fun thing to do. They always send you like cute little stickers and Riley sometimes likes to put the stickers all over my bottles. You can put your name on the bottle and like make it super, super custom just for you. So happy to work with them again. This is what I'm gonna use in the shower today. They do have an offer for you guys. If you wanna try it, you get 20% off of your first set, this is a 16 ounce set. So you get 20% off of that, I think that's a great deal. And if you become a member, then you get things like free shipping and they send you like, you know, perks that are just for the members. So that is Function of Beauty, you guys. I'm gonna hop in the shower and I will let you guys see like my hair once I dry it because I'm gonna hop in the shower and then maybe after I bathe the kids, then I'll dry it, I'll kind of let it air dry for a little bit. And we can hang out tonight and see what else we do to kind of wind down because mama is tired and I need just like some me time. Okay, so I am feeling so refreshed after that shower. I took a shower um, and then I shaved because tomorrow we're supposed to be going in the pool. So I shaved, got that ready for tomorrow. I did want to ask you guys, so I figured maybe you guys can help. So it's pretty embarrassing, but I have 
I have like the worst ingrown hairs in my bikini line. And I know that that's TMI, right? I know that that's not something everybody wants to talk about, but like it's bad. And every time that I like shave to go to the pool or to go to the beach, it's like I always have these red bumps and I don't know what to do. Like, is there a better product that I could be using? Like I got a bikini wax one time in my life, never again. That is not the solution. That is not the answer, okay? Because that was super painful. But like, is that the only way to like not have bumps or not have redness. Like I see all these people like in real life and on Instagram and all that. Like when you go to the beach and you see people wearing like bikinis that are like literally <laughs> this big that cover like literally this much and there's no hair. And I'm just like, like how is there no hair? <laughs> like explain it to me. <laughs> so if you guys have used any product that's not like super painful, like do you wax at home? Not that I want to do that. Or like has anybody used like Nair, like one of those um, creams, do they work? Do those at home, like laser hair removal things work? Cause I've seen like a bunch of them promoted all the time and I've been so tempted to buy one to see if it works, but they're like, I don't know, some of them are pretty expensive. Or do I go the route of like laser hair removal, like at a place, does that even work? I've been talking about this probably for years because of the fact that it's one of those like problem areas for me. Cause I, I mean, I don't want to have that. I would like to look you know, like it look nice down there. So I present the question to you guys, my girlfriends. Hopefully there's not too many guys watching this, but let me know, let me know the secrets. Tell me what's up. And with that, at least my hair is nice and um, nice and brushed. So I don't wake up like a friggin' bird's nest is in my hair. I am gonna, like I said, I'm gonna let it air dry a little bit and then I'll blow dry it before I um, before I go to bed and all of that because I have slept with my hair wet and like the freaking Cuban grandma say like I always wake up the next day feeling sick so I'm gonna try to take care of that but can you guys see like how long my hair has gotten my hair has gotten super long and in my opinion I feel like it's very healthy it feels very full I don't feel like it's super oily and like just stringy so I'm very happy with my hair that that I will tell you yeah I'm gonna go see what the kids are up to get them bathed all of that did my did I ever show you? I think my mom got... Did she get new bedding? I think she got new bedding or some new pillows. Her room is looking really nice. She also replaced... I think I showed you this last time that we were here, right? That she got new... Um, this is like the same dresser, but she got new fixtures. Um, and then she got this chair. I don't know where the chair is from. I'd have to ask her. She has this rug that is super pretty. So little by little... Oh, she got lamps. I don't know if I pointed those out. But she's gone like little by little. Like putting new stuff here in her bedroom. But her bedroom is like what I want for my life. I want it to be like zen, like hotel vibes when you walk in. This would be really nice to like go to at the end of the day. I still have my cozy PJs on that my mom got me for Christmas. I still love these. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in a bit once the kids are in bed. Okay, so it's a little bit later. I put the kids to bed. Well, it's like super bright in here because of all the lights. These lights are super bright. You guys see that? Yeah, the kids are in bed. So I'm gonna go downstairs in a minute because I think my dad might have ordered some cookies and we'll do some stuff downstairs before I actually get to bed. But I am gonna blow dry my hair, so let's do that first. Okay, made it downstairs, my hair is dry. Can you see, like, it looks pretty decent. It looks pretty good these days. So I do not blow dry my hair all that often. I just wanted to blow dry it today because we'll probably take some pictures tomorrow for Mother's Day, well, like, because we're gonna celebrate it early. But now my hair is done. I'm gonna tell you the next thing on the list in terms of my nighttime routine, in terms of what this night's gonna look like. I'm gonna try to help me clean up the kitchen because it's looking pretty bad. She's gonna kill me for showing you this, but this is the state of our kitchen right now just because there's so many people here, there's so much going on. So I'm gonna see if we can tidy up a little bit at least and help her out here.
Okay, so that's what the kitchen looks like now. It's not perfect, but at least a little bit better. So I'm gonna have some wine now, relax. We're gonna sit down, all of us. I'm not gonna show you guys, my parents, my brother, because everybody's like in their jammies and stuff, but we're gonna sit down to watch a movie called, what's it called, Ryan? Ambulance. Ambulance. I don't know, it's a movie called Ambulance. So we're gonna sit down and have a family movie night. Ooh, the dog is barking. The cookies just got here, so actually let me serve myself a cookie. All right, so here are the goods. Let's see what they ordered. They're like taped together, I guess, so they don't spill. Night owl cookies, taped on both sides. Do you need assistance? I do, Joseph Buell, thank you. Thank you for coming Maybe to my rescue. Like mini drone that follows you around. Right, that'd be great. <laughs> what is that? I've never That's, seen that one. Don't touch this. Well, the red velvet is yours, but what on earth is that? Uh, What's the one with like the cinnamon? It's the cinnamon one. Oh my cinnamon goodness. One. Looks delicious. And then what's that chocolate one? Oh my goodness, they look amazing. These we've had before, like this is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Oreo. That's some kind of s'mores. Oh my, er, wow, that looks amazing. Birthday cake. But these are kind of new, I've never seen these. So you're gonna dig into that. All right, you guys, so it is much later. We finished the movie. The movie was really good. Like the movie was surprisingly very good. Again, it was called Ambulance and it had Jake Gyllenhaal in it. It was one of those like, bank robber hostage situation kind of movie so i've had like anxiety the whole time so of course i chipped my nails i have to find my nail polish not sure where it is but i have to repaint my nails because that's what happens when i watch like one of those like thriller kind of movies that just have you anxious the whole time so i love that for me but now i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed riley's sleeping already in our room so because of that like i can't really be loud in our room so we usually just like turn in for the night once we're like ready to get in bed like i'll still you know go through my phone and you know watch videos and stuff until i have to go to sleep but um it's not like i can be in my room doing a whole bunch of stuff so before i go to bed i do want to at least i had already washed my face when i took a shower i am going to put on a little bit of like a like a face cream this is like an elemis pro collagen marine cream that i really like to use at night and i'm just trying to put it on for just like a little bit of like pampering when i put this on when i wake up in the morning my skin feels so hydrated so i love that and then i'm also going to use my tula the under eye balm that i talk to you guys about all the time that i love it's just like cooling and like right now my face just feels that too right now it just feels so so nice and like hydrated and moisturized so that's about it in terms of my skincare. And now I'm gonna get in bed because it's very likely that Jackson's gonna be awake super early, you guys. Wish me luck because this whole change of his schedule has been no joke. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was like probably really short and there wasn't a whole lot to it, but I figured at least we could hang out for a little bit. You guys could get like an idea of like what a difference it is, like a night at Mimi's house versus a night at our house. Um, today was actually nights. The AC is like blasting out here outside of the bathroom, so maybe just stay here. But today was nice because like we all got together and we all watched a movie that doesn't happen every night. Like we've been here for what, like two weeks? And I think that's the first time that we all like sit down and watch a movie together because usually we're so exhausted by the end of the night that like everybody just goes their own separate ways and does their own thing. So this was very nice, very much appreciated. Something super random that I'm sure I've told you before. This is my brother's mirror and Joe keeps telling me how he wants to get one of these for our bathroom. So I think when we get home, we might get one of them because like, I mean, this is nice. This is a nice mirror. And if you guys know like how my bathroom is at home, like I have two mirrors, right? I have one mirror over Joe's sink and then I have another mirror over my sink. So I'm thinking of just like taking those down and then putting something like this. I think that might look super pretty now that I'm like in here and constantly looking at it and it's in my face. I think that would look really nice. So yeah, we really don't have many more nights here. I think we just have tomorrow night. And then first thing Sunday on Mother's Day, we're heading to Myrtle Beach. And then we're gonna spend, I think it's like Monday through Friday there. And then after Myrtle Beach, God willing, we're supposed to go to Virginia Beach because we had a planned little um, event that we were gonna go to on like a Saturday. And if we end up going, I will definitely take you guys along. But point is, it's gonna be a while till I'm home. So once again, bear with me. I'm trying my best to give you guys as much content as I can while I'm away, but I know that it's a little different, not necessarily what you guys are used to seeing, but I'm trying here. I'm really trying very hard. So tomorrow is like our Mother's Day celebration. I'll probably vlog that. 
and then I'll vlog at least once when I'm in Myrtle Beach. So I hope that you guys have been enjoying these videos. And again, thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring. Remember, if you want to get 20% off like your first set, um, you can do that. The code, the link, all that stuff to get the discount will be down below in the description box. And that is all, my friends. Good night. I'm going to get some rest. I love your freaking faces. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Being a creeper outside the bathroom. What in, is that my towel? Yes. Why is a dog there? Look how creepy that looks. He follows like. me upstairs. Why did he follow you? That's so creepy. He wants to sleep with somebody. Well, now with us. Now with us. Okay, go to the bathroom. I'll see you in bed. Farewell.